Water fountains are ubiquitous in Istanbul, with Ottoman fountains easily found almost everywhere, in the middle of streets, on walls, or tucked away at the corner of a street. Over 1,300 Ottoman fountains can be found throughout Istanbul, a staggering amount compared to the total number of other Ottoman-era fountains scattered across Turkey, the Balkans, parts of Egypt and Jerusalem. Built in 1452, these fountains sprung up everywhere within the empire's reach until its unfortunate demise. Although the empire is now history, the question why did the Ottoman Empire build all these fountains is still very much alive. The answer to this question lies in the importance of water in Ottoman social and cultural life. Because of how much they valued water, a source of life, fountains were built for charity as a way to provide water to those in need of it, which was considered a noble act. These well-crafted fountains served a social purpose where people would meet and socialize. The Turkish word for fountain is sebil, which comes from the Arabic phrase fi sabil lillah, meaning in the way of Allah or for the sake of Allah. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, when a man dies, his deeds come to an end except for three things, ceaseless charity, beneficial knowledge, or a virtuous offspring who pray for him. Providing people with water is considered one of the best ceaseless charities in Islam, which explains why delivering water to the people was considered an act of worship, and fountains were built to serve this purpose in the Ottoman Empire. There are various types of Ottoman fountains in Istanbul, each with its own unique design and architectural style. In Istanbul alone, you can find more than six types of fountains scattered across the metropolis at mosques, palaces, gardens, and even in public places. Each fountain serves a unique purpose corresponding to its location. Public fountains were built in public squares or at street corners and were used to provide drinking water to the public. Mosque fountains were built in the courtyards of mosques and were used for ablutions. Palace fountains were built within the palace grounds and were used for both aesthetic and functional purposes. Garden fountains were built within gardens and parks for decoration and to provide a source of water for irrigation. Fountain niches were built into the walls of buildings and were used to provide water for passers-by. It is difficult to determine exactly how many Ottoman fountains in Istanbul are still operational, However, many of the Ottoman fountains in Istanbul have been restored and renovated over the years and some of them are still functioning as sources of drinking water. During the reign of Sultan Suleiman, the great, the magnificent, they adopted a new idea. That city, they, his neighborhoods, small streets, they need to have at least one water fountain. And we can say like every 300 to 400 meters, a water fountain could be found in Istanbul. Fountains like Ahmed Han, built in the 16th century, Ishak Aga, built in the early 18th century, and Sebil Fountain, a prominent landmark located in the heart of Sarajevo, are still providing water to hundreds of thousands of people a day to this day. In Bosnia, the fountains, the idea of symbolizing water is life, water is everything. It's brought by the, the Sultan Mehmed the Conqueror in 1463. So in today's Bosnia, the most important symbol of the city, of the main capital city in the Sarajevo, is the Sebil of Sarajevo. While some of the Ottoman era fountains are still operational, unfortunately, most of them had been neglected and are now shadows of their former selves. Due to neglect, damage or lack of maintenance, some of these fountains have fallen into disrepair and have been repurposed. Although still defunct, some fountains have been brought back to life in the form of mini shops or tea houses serving tea lovers hot beverages just when they need one. Fountains are symbols of the Islamic heritage inherited from the Ottoman Empire and continue to serve as reminders of Islam's rich cultural history 
as some of these magnificent fountains continue to be restored and maintained, they continue to provide drinking water and serve as social hubs for the people and remind us of the importance of water and charity in Islam. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you enjoy the videos. I'm the founder of this channel and you might be surprised to know that um, this channel is not run by a big studio but instead it's just me and with the help of a few friends of mine. We pour our passion and dedication into this video in our free time with the goal of creating accessible and educational Islamic contents for everyone on YouTube. If you like what you watched, please hit the like button and share the videos to you, everyone, to your friends and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date for the future videos. By supporting us, you're helping us to create more free educational videos about Islam for everyone. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next future videos.